This went from you know your traditional, let me just talk about Netflix and Narcos and Cartel, to let's talk about what's true for all of us, which is trauma. Yes, I was a normal kid. I was born in Cali in 1965. And then my mother took a drastic decision to bring me to the United States, leaving my father behind. And I never met anybody who'd gone through something like that. Didn't just say, it's gonna be all right, face your pain. She said how to do it. So I grew up in Montgomery County, Maryland, in a typical household. I knew I wanted to do something in, in public service. A la 1 y 30 de la tarde, William Rodríguez Abadía se encontraba almorzando con cinco personas en este restaurante al norte de Cali. I tried to get up and I got the first shot here and the other one here. And then the inertia of the two shots in my body brought me, you know, I fell in the ground and a table, the two guys moving from one place to another. Everybody was shot in the head and, and I was waiting for that. And, but I, I believe that when I hit the ground, the first thing that I thought about was my kid. And I said these words to God, please God, don't let me die. I wanna see her grow. And then the guy decided to go and I said, now I, I don't understand, you know, what happened there. Because I was the main target. And the guy didn't, you know, there was God, no? And then, and that moment I knew I was not gonna die. Up early, out on the road, and I soon found myself caught in a traffic jam, which normally it wouldn't be there. After parking my government car, I ran to the elevator, got on the elevator, and there were unusually a lot of people. Then it was as if a hand grabbed onto the top of the elevator car and we were moving very rapidly. Uh, we exchanged glances and then out of nowhere, the elevator car just stopped. The doors flew open and there was a debris field at the lobby level. Um, so it wasn't an elevator malfunction. What we didn't know was some 94 stories above us, American Airlines Flight 11 had just struck the World Trade Center. So I have to explain to my kid, no, no. I did this, I did this. And my wife said, why are you talking to the kid? They went, no. I always said the truth to them. And that's why they believe me. And they're with me still. And, and they'll fight any war with me, right? I've been sincere with them. And, and that's why I wanna try to clear what we did because it was wrong. But we suffer enough. If you can connect back to humanity and what makes you a human and what really drives your heart and keeps you alive, mm -hmm. it's going to keep you alive. What I'd like to do here today is, is tell you a story. And for me, the story is about connection and it's about hope. Now it's gonna involve trauma, it's gonna involve pain, it's gonna involve the human experience. Well, the reality is that's all of us. So in a way, I'm telling someone else's story, I'm telling mine, and hopefully in a way, I'm helping tell yours.